You've still got it then. Yeah, I've got yeah. a good welcome there. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see. Thank you so much for being on the show, Michael. It's so well, nice it's, to it's see you. It's a pleasure. Well, it's very nice to see you. I, I didn't think you were in LA anymore. Are you over here doing the film, uh, promoting the I'm, film? I'm, I, yeah, well, I live. I live in England. I, yeah. I was just here promoting. I'm just here promoting this film. We open it here, right? And then we go to New York and open it. Then I go back to England. And so you it. play a magician in this film. I play you? a magician. I, I actually play. What they call, used to call, it's set in Victorian England, they used to call it the ingenieur, the, en the engineer. Right. I play the old guy who actually makes these enormous tricks. I mean, it's not like little card tricks. Right. These are enormous great things that he makes for these two young magicians. So you're the wise older... I'm the wise yeah. older man. Uh, I, I do a lot of that lately. It's the same, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, They've given you a lot of that. I've, I've, been, that? I've been specialising in wisdom for about three years now. <laughs> The money's not as good as specialised in girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, you do that when you're younger, and then you get older, and then you specialise in wisdom. Well, that's all right. You're still working. Come I'm, on. I'm still working. How many yeah, films well, have you done then, now, do you think? I've played the lead in about 75 or 76 oh movies. God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But... But when I was young, I had a lot of struggle trying to get into movies, so I was always playing one-day parts. Right. You know, I'd be the butler who'd come in at the end and say, dinner is served, or the detective who'd come at the end and say, come along with me, you're, 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 and take the criminal out. I yeah, always yeah. have one line, which right. I, we, on the first two takes, I usually forgot anyway. Right. You know. <laughs> so if you look up on Google or something, look me up, there's about 150 titles, and you think, this guy must be a hundred. Yeah, yeah. But it's not. It's just that I, I did all these movies where I said one line. Right. And they put the titles in like they were sort of big and important. Well, yeah, they, they say, well, now the movie is big and important because you're in this. Oh, yes, we had Michael Caine yeah, in our Michael film. Yeah, in but it's funny, Google. I looked on there and you don't know what people write about it because and then there are seven million th uh, items on me on Google. Yeah. Seven million. Yeah. And you go... Have you read them all? I've, I started yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up to 156. <laughs> do you watch, do you go, do, go on the internet? Do you do all that? Do you have a MySpace page? I, 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 I go on, no, I go on Google because I, I'm an information buff. I, I certainly right. don't go Google, Google and look, look things up on me because I know all about you me. You know anyway. that? Yeah, 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 I look yeah, yeah. things on up on other people. But, I, but Google's extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, yeah, yeah. it's never anything that you can think of that you go on there and there's something quite obscure and you go on you say, I've never heard of that. I wonder, and you go on, and there's three quarters of a million they items can tell you on this you thing you've never yeah. heard of. Anything you want to know. You they know, know everything. They know. Yeah, they're like, my mum. Yeah. They know everything. Yeah, I yeah, yeah they could yeah, do that. Yeah. So, uh, listen, you, you, you've done, what, 100 and, 100 and, or 70 something? Seven, say 77 77 film, yeah. uh, when you're the lead in. Uh, did you ever do a film and you thought, oh, I wish I hadn't done that one? Oh, you, oh, you do it afterwards, you wish you'd had it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. But you've got to remember... Uh, a movie is a collaborative thing. Right. So you, so you can go into it with the best will in the world, you know, and then suddenly after about a week you go, oh, however am I going to finish this movie? Yeah. <laughs> and you, you, you know, you make mistakes, you know, yeah, yeah, we all do, but I mean, but you, if, if, if ever a movie is successful, that's the miracle. Right. That's what it is. Well, certainly because I was so involved many, in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's so many people involved. Every, everyone, you know, you've got 150 people who can all screw up yeah. and destroy the whole bloody thing. Yeah, no, unlike here, where we have about 20 people who can all screw up and frequently do. Yeah. 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 No, but you have one person here who doesn't have to screw up, and it's you. Yeah, and that's you don't true, screw yeah. up, and then it's great. Yeah. And if, if I screw up, that's where they go, oh, he screwed screw up again. Up, yeah, 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 if you screw up, you'll be looking for a career in movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the one. I'd be the yeah, one yeah, saying, "Right, come with yeah, me, or dinner is served." You'll yeah. be doing. Yeah. You'll be doing 110 <laughs> movies. Yeah. What about uh, what about you? Did the movie? The only movie you did in Scotland was Kidnapped, wasn't it? And yes, I was reading Kidnapped. Your, yeah, wasn't that one that you got into a bit of a problem with? Well, what that, the, the Kidnapped was, uh, uh, we got, and then they ran out of money, and nobody got paid. That would make me a little cross. Yeah, I yeah. Got, I, but I had already, I had an agent, and I, my money was in escrow. Right. So I got paid, but then I had to give it all back to the crew. You know, we go, we all shared it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we have to take a break. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Michael Caine, everybody. <laughs> Michael 
Listen, when you were making Alfie uh, and, and back in the day, because you're not from, like, I always thought actors when I was growing up were, were like from the upper classes. They were all kind of, you know... Well, when I was growing up, they were. Right. Yeah, they all talked, you know, it's all terribly like that. So, yeah, I'd say uh, anything uh, interesting uh, in your newspaper. Yeah, 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 yeah all and, that. And, and uh, I... When, when I was watching movies, I always liked American movies. Right. Because they're about working class people. Right. It's like, it's like uh, it, it, British war films were always about officers. Right. American war films are about privates. Right. Not, no, uh, no, 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 no privates. No, 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 no. They make some of those films they, over yeah. in the valley. Yeah. yeah. They make those as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I mean about soldiers... I, I like those films too. Yeah, but... Yeah. These, are, these are films about soldiers who hadn't any rank. Right. <laughs> Rankless soldiers. Right. <laughs> As opposed to ranking officers. Ranking officers, yeah. <laughs> We're getting further and further in the mire here, aren't we? <laughs> but, but, but as they say, if you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the... Uh, about because you come from the Elephant and Castle, right? Yeah, in London. The Elephant and Castle, which is a very rough district. It's a bit Still like, is, actually, isn't it? Eh? Still is a bit rough, the oh, Elephant. Oh, it's very rough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's rougher than when I was there. Really? Because they knocked it all down, didn't they? They knocked they it all down, and, and, and then they put it all up again. Right. And then the people who lived there, they knocked it all down. <laughs> <laughs> so they're putting it all up again. Yeah. And, uh, but but it, it, it's a very rough place. Is it... The place is called the Elephant and Castle because there's a great big pub there called the English Pub, it, yeah. you know, called the Elephant and Castle. But it wasn't originally called it. it well, I'm a Cockney. We're Cockneys with, with this accent like mine. And, and we, the Prince Charles, uh, uh, King Charles II had a Spanish mistress called the Infanta de Castile. Uh -huh. And they opened a pub there when she died and they called it the Infanta de Castile. And the Cockneys couldn't pronounce it, so they called it the Elephant, elephant Castle. Castle. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. That's true. I know that. Yeah, that's, I where, the name know that. that's where the name came do you from. Ever, do you ever go back, because you live in London now, do you ever go back there and have a look around? I go back sometimes. i tell you who came from near me is Charlie Chaplin. And I remember once, I went back and I'm looking around, you know, the old streets and everything and everything. And there was Charlie Chaplin doing the same thing. Really? Yeah. You bumped into him walking around the... Yeah, we That's... were both walking around on the same day. It was quite extraordinary. That is... You imagine some bloke coming out of the Elephant and Castle after a few drinks and <laughs> yeah. you and Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> no, he came and going home and he says to his wife, you know what I saw today? <laughs> Charlie Chaplin and Michael Caine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she said, you bloody drunk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you... Did you meet a lot of resistance coming up as an actor because you weren't from the upper class? Because Britain, I, I think the, the real failing, if Britain has a, a real serious flaw, is that class system thing. Well, it, the whole thing, the whole class system is a serious flaw. Yeah. But, I mean, you really had to be posh, shall we say, to be an actor uh, uh, when I was young. And, like, and also, when, when I told my, my father that I wanted to be an actor, he naturally assumed I was gay. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you know, because, because all the actors talk like this and all us guys are going, oh, they're all gay, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, 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 but what happened, I, I was very fortunate because the, the English working class writers came along, you know, John Osborne, right, we'd yeah, look yeah, back yeah. in anger and Arnold Wesker in the kitchen and they started writing about people like me, as a, you know, because everybody was coming in in tennis shorts through French windows, oh, saying, yeah, saying, <laughs> saying Bunty's having a party, let's all go up to London. And, yeah, there's, you know, there's nothing gay about that. Uh, no, nothing gay about that. <laughs> and we're all sitting there going, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Bunty's but, having I mean, a party. Bunty's having a party. Well, yeah. I never ever had to say Do that. Do you mix but. with that set now, though? Because, I mean, they, they must swarm There around. is a sort of lovey set, do you know? Yeah. There's, a, there's sort of actors who, who say, oh, hello, darling, hello. There's one actor who always calls me Hart. Yeah? Hart, Hart. Yeah. And I don't know why, but he just does. Uh, that, that might be a But movie thing. actors yeah, yeah. are not like that, because <laughs> movie actors are sort of more, more common. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're trash, God. really. Yeah, trash. Yeah, trash. Yeah. Yeah, we, we were trailer trash without a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. You, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Michael Caine, everyone. The human project gives this great big dinner for all the scientists and sages in the world. They're tossing around theories about the ultimate mystery. 
Why are women infertile? Why can't we make babies anymore? Some of them say it's genetic experiments, gamma rays, pollution, same old, same old. Anyway, in the corner, this Englishman's sitting. He hasn't said a word. He's just tucking into his dinner. <laughs> so they decide to ask him. They say, well, why do you think we can't make babies anymore? And he looks up at them, and he's chewing on this great big wing. And he says, I haven't the faintest idea, he said. But this stalk is quite tasty, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Michael Caine. That was a, a clip with Clive Owen you were working with there. Yeah, that's right. That's a movie called Children of Men. Yeah? Yeah, that's a very, very dark movie we made in England and it, with, with Clive Owen. He's one of the reasons I did it. I think he's a wonderful actor. I was going to ask you, who do you, who do you like as the, the new English actors coming out now? Do you like um, Jude Law? Jude Law did that. Jude, you, well, yeah. Jude Law... I, I once made a movie called Sleuth with Laurence Olivier. Yeah, yeah, I I'm about to do a remake of it with, 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 with Jude Law. Really? Yeah. You know, I, and everybody does a uh, uh, Michael Caine impersonation. You know that as well, don't they? Oh, all British actors, everybody. everybody. I am the... I, I've been known to even do it on this show. You've you done know, it on yeah. this show? <laughs> Not much. Not but, much. Yeah. 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 But, but yeah, I well, I, you know, I'm, I'm the easiest person to impersonate. Every, everybody can do me. I know. <laughs> It's true. It's true. I think, but not well. I, uh, what no, we well, do no, is well. No, no, they usually they're not very good. No, yeah. no. I, I, I usually if I put a spin on it, I put, do Michael Caine in space. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you want to see one? Yeah, go on. All right, then have we got one? Yeah, right. It's Michael Caine in space. What do you call a lesbian in space? Alien degenerates. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's what we. That's what we. Uh, that's uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry. That's about what that. you do behind my back. Yeah, behind your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't trust him. No, no, I know. I, I do. I do Sean as well. Because you, you and Sean Connery are still great mates. Yeah, aren't you? yeah. How does it sound? You do Sean for. Well, me. I, he talks a bit like this. He's just, you know, <laughs> ten shillings was ten shillings to pipe Major McCrennan. That, that kind of thing. <laughs> That's from, uh, good, yeah. from uh, you did the, the Man Who Would Be King, which I think is one of the best movies of all time. That, yeah, that. I did it with Sean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah John Houston directed it. Yeah. Now, it was a long story to get that movie together, wasn't it? It was like he was trying and trying oh, and trying. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. I did, that was very funny. It's funny how you get movie parts. I was in Paris with my wife, staying in a hotel. Right. Uh, and then the phone went, and I said, hello. And I said, uh, Michael Caine, I said, Jesse, this is John Houston. And I went, all right, who is it? <laughs> I thought it was one of my friends taking the piss. You right, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, no, it's John Houston. I, I, could I speak, uh, uh, you know, and I said, no, who is it, who is it? Come on, is, is it you, Sid? It's you, isn't it? And it's, 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 no, it's John Houston. <laughs> so I thought, it sounds like John Houston. Yeah, yeah, but like John Houston. So I yeah. said, uh, Even oh, now yeah, it well, it's Michael Caine. Yeah. He said, he said, um, he said can you meet me and talk about a film? I said, yeah. I said, where do you want to meet? meet? He said, uh, what are you doing now? <laughs> and you know, the way John talked, he said, what are you doing now? And I said, well, I'm, I'm with my wife in the George Sank Hotel in Paris. I said, where are you? He said, I'm in the bar next door. <laughs> really? And then I went, and he said, come down. So I went down there, and he said, he said, uh, um, he said do you know The Man Who Would Be King by Roger Kipling? I said, yes, I do. He said, I'm going to make a movie, a film of it. So I said, he said, I want you to play Peachy Carnahan. He said, I've been trying to make this film for years. And he said, he, he was originally going to make it with Humphrey Bogart and Clark Gable. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. And Humphrey Bogart was my favourite actor, you yeah. know? And here I was, I was replacing Humphrey Bogart. That's fantastic. And it was great. And then Sean Connery was cast in the Clark Gable part. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's quite a powerful figure, Sean, as well. That must have been... Oh, yeah. yeah. I met Sean. I met, I met Sean. He was... He was I, I tell you a story. Um, they were doing South Pacific... Right. And they had all these sort of big, tough American sailors. They had to sing, there is nothing like a dame, nothing in this. And, and so the, this producer, he said, we'll, we'll audition some chorus boys. You know, and English chorus boys at that time were not very butch. Yeah, you know? yeah. 
they're, I don't think they're much more they're not, bush they're, they're now. They haven't no, improved a lot yeah. either. And so they're all going, there's nothing like a dame. <laughs> oh, we're in this world. And he said, we can't use these. <laughs> and so he said, and what he did, he sent round to all the gymnasiums to get all these guys, like the big weightlifters, so that they could be like big sailors with T-shirts and vests on. And Sean was trying to be Mr. Universe. He was like right. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was, he was enormous. And, and he got a part in the chorus of South Pacific. And on the very first night, uh, very first Saturday, they opened on the Thursday, and on the Saturday, I went to a party with two girls, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. And Sean came in, right, and he looked round the party and he spotted me with two girls and I became his instant new best friend. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's lasted all these and years. And it's lasted all these years. Michael, it's been a joy talking to you. I wish we had more time. Oh, well, it's an honour that you came on our show. Michael Caine, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. My uh, first guest tonight is a Hollywood icon. I mean, an icon. I, every time he comes to this show, I think, why is he coming to this show? He doesn't have to be at this show. <laughs> I mean, he's really, you know, he's like, whoa. I mean, when he comes out, you'll be like, what? I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> and you'll be like, y are you kidding? I'm like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's in a new movie, it's called Is Anybody There? It's in theatres on Friday. Please welcome the legend that is Michael Caine, everybody. Michael Caine. Welcome. Hey, very nice to see you again. It's great to see you, yeah. Just, I, I'm always delighted when you come on the show. A little surprised, but delighted. You're surprised I come on, are you? Yeah, I am a little bit. Yeah, I would be if I were you. Yeah. 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 Still, it's nice that you do it. And I, I do, you yeah, know. And I it's from the old country. I think it's an old country yeah, thing, It's the old too. country, and you're in a foreign land. And not, I'm not you're, anymore. No, are you a real American? Yeah, I became a citizen, yes. Oh, are you? Yeah, did you, did, you didn't? No, no, I'm a tourist. <laughs> I'm a fan of America, though. Oh, big well, that's, well that, that's good, yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Well, I, I've been working here for years. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you were born, I was... No, there. no. Yeah, 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 really? yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and you got married. <laughs> <laughs> you got married, I hear. I did get married, yeah. You did? Yeah, 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 yeah look, look, I'm wearing... It's one of the new went, ones with the GPS you know, I never, in it. I never ever... <laughs> yeah. You don't wear one. I don't wear one. No, I never... I never wore a ring. Ever, ever. How'd you get away with that? I don't know. My wife <laughs> trusts me, I think. <laughs> I, we've been married 38 years. Wow. You know. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm quite old now, so she doesn't worry about the ring. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think she should give it a passing thought from time yeah, to time. I'll, I'll buy a thin one. Yeah. It's a good, yeah. What, a thin ring? Uh, yeah, thin ring. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, yours is... is thick. You see, you're a newlywed. You're, you're, all, sort of, oh, yeah, you're they... all sort of keen and stuff. And you, and you got married in the winter. I, I did get married in the winter in yeah. Vermont. Deep snow, deep snow, wearing a kilt. Yeah. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You, you, Where did you, you get sink married? Down. You can oh. sink down. Well, can't you get, you? well, the snow rises up. No, the snow rises. <laughs> You've got lots of snow. You don't have to go out. Yeah, well, yeah. that's You keep true, in yeah. on the honeymoon. You yes, see, you, do, you say yeah. I don't have to go out. It's okay. Let's, let's stay the at home. The snow's too deep, darling, to go for a walk. <laughs> but you would have killed. Yeah, but you can't go out for a walk. You can't go out in a kilt. Can not you? in the snow. No, no it's not no, right, no. Michael. No, I, I got married. I got married in Las Vegas. Really? Yeah. In that must in, be a record then for the longest marriage that's happened yeah, in yeah, Las Vegas. Yeah, people in Las Vegas, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, I, it, uh, I got married in the little chapel on the green, which turned out to be four square feet of astroturf. Yeah, yeah, that was... <laughs> I thought I was going to get like a village green in no, England, no, you know, and, no, and, uh, and I went you. there. And, and um, the place was famous because Tony Curtis had got married there. Oh. A couple of times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I, you know, I, it, and it was just—it was very quick, 
and and the, the so I had to get back into LA. To, we were shooting, and I and uh, we went to a restaurant across the road, and there'd be someone you might remember, Louis Prima. Oh, remember yes, Louis of Prima course. and yeah, Keely yeah, Smith? Yeah, yeah. They were the cabaret, and we went in this restaurant, and we got on an airplane and went back, and we went back to the Beverly Wilshire where they had. Uh, and my wife is Kashmiri, Indian, and they had an Indian suite in there. Oh, that's nice. And they gave us it for our first night of our honeymoon. And I didn't know that in India they put bells on the bed to make sure... Every- <laughs> and not just in India, Michael. No, not just uh, in India. In Vermont too, huh? Yeah, yeah, in Vermont, yeah. yeah well, just it was, one it bell. Was Christmas. Dong, <laughs> dong, dong. <laughs> Well, well, there were four bells on this bed. Right. And, and so I spent the first couple of hours of my honeymoon with, with a penknife trying to get the bells off the bed. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It, it has to be true because you can't make this stuff no, up. No, you can't. You know I mean? <laughs> Didn't you, well, your wife must have known that bells were traditional. She would have said to you, you can leave the bells on the bed. Yeah, but we didn't think they'd be traditional in the Beverly Wilshire. No, no, you don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, we didn't know how far they would carry it. Yeah. And they carried it a, a, a bell too far. I bet one bell too <laughs> far. Bell too well, far. Weren't you in that film, One Bell well, Too no, Far? No. <laughs> a bridge too far. A bridge was, too yeah, far. Yeah, a bridge too far, I was in. Yeah. 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 yeah we, we, yeah. That's a good film. Have you ever done a film and you thought, oh, I wish I hadn't done that film? Yeah, I'd, I'd done several. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't know at the time. No, you know. no, I You think to yourself, I'm very good, and then you suddenly realise that no one else is. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true in many ways. It's true. You can say it now. Yeah. We know. Well, I'm old enough to say that Yeah, stuff. you can say it. You you no one takes any notice of what well, you say. No, no, no. no, no the old dodderers. In this, in this film you've just done, are you, are you, well, you're good in it. Anyone else good in it? Everybody yeah. is brilliant, as a matter of fact. Really? And I play with a little boy who's ten, and he is... The best boy actor I've ever come across because he's he's had no training, and he's just a small boy, right? And he's like a real boy, and he doesn't have one of those. <laughs> you know when you see Couldn't children you get a actors, trained they, 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 you can see they've been trained to do oh, yes, bad yeah, things, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. that people never do, uh, uh, and and he doesn't do any of those things, and he doesn't have one of those what we call stage mothers who are trying to sort of project the fact that they didn't do anything into the child and they want the child to become a star. His mother's an ordinary, very nice woman and he's a wonderful boy. His name is Bill Milner. And the name of the movie is, Is Anybody There? And he, he, he's the co-star of it with me. And does he, uh, what happens in the movie then? Do you... Well, he, I'll, I'll cut this very short. He's, 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 he lives in an old people's home, old folks' home. You do? No, not yet. <laughs> I haven't got there yet. <laughs> No, I don't the mean point. you do. No, 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 no I thought I'm your doing, character. I haven't got there yet in the story. All oh, right, okay. You've got to let me get in the story. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. The little boy lives in an old folks' home because his mother and father own it. All oh, right, okay. And every time he makes a friend, of course, they die. Oh, so yes. he goes looking for their spirits with a, with a tape recorder and a torch and a camera. And he can never find them. And an old magician, me, comes in, basically, to die. Right. And he makes friends with him and he helps him find his ghosts. That's fantastic. Yeah. That sounds like a fantastic film. I'm not supposed to say that because it sounds conceited, but it is an extraordinary film. No, it sounds... And anyway... <laughs> no, it sounds... Oh, that's... No, it is. It is. He hasn't seen it. I've seen it. It's bloody good. Yeah, well, no, it sounds... Honestly, yeah, it does. You, it you, you, you'll love it when you see it. No, I will. i tell you why. Because it will make you really, really laugh, laugh, and then you will burst out crying. And I'll do both of those things to you, one after the other, I bet. Yeah. Well, you, you've I, done no, that here. I'll tell you what. When I, when I, when I was reading the script... Uh, it's produced by David Heyman, who makes a Harry Potter film. Oh, yeah, but, I know but David. But this is yeah. not a big film. This is a little tiny film. And he's, he loved the script. He said it to me and I was reading it. And halfway through, I rang him and I said, I said, I'll do this movie. He said, you like the script? I said, well, I haven't finished it yet. He said, well, why are you phoning me before you finished? I said, because I've, I've had a break. I thought I'd phone you during this break because I'm crying. Oh, yeah. And it was the only script I've ever read that made me cry. And I don't cry easily, believe me. I'm very tough. <laughs> I'm really, I'm tough, you know. And uh, I'd, I'd never cry. And I was all on my own, so I cried. Oh. And I rang him and I said, I'll do it. And then he got me cheap, you see. Yeah, I, no, of course. He, uh, <laughs> because he, he felt I was vulnerable. 
<laughs> what about you, you play a magician in the film? Did I you play learn, a magician? You, yes. Did you learn any tricks? Did you yeah, any I learned lots of tricks. It was very funny because uh, uh, um, I decided as part of my character, I thought I'm going to part my hair in the middle. If oh. I'm, I don't know why I thought. And then the real magician turned up to teach me. You know, the technical advisor, and he had his hair parted in the middle. <laughs> And I thought, I've not even started a movie and I've got something right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and and I, I, I said to him, I said, I said, I've seen magicians before with their hair parted in the middle. I said, a lot of you seem to do that. He said, yes. He said, I said, why is that? He said, Houdini. Harry Houdini, the greatest magi magician of all, he had his hair parted in the middle. And all the young magicians parted their hair in the middle. What, and what, so did I. What happens if they're bald? <laughs> You wear... If, if you're a magician, you can't be bald. There's got to be you're, a bald magician somewhere. No, no, no. They sell wigs parted in the mi parted middle. Parted in the middle. <laughs> For magicians. Yeah, I see. <laughs> do they have... Uh, I, don't want me, I don't want you showing me. Do they have secret compartments in them? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Magicians have secret compartments everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. I, I had, you know, I had dubs coming out of... I've done a lot of <laughs> <laughs> that can happen sometimes. Yeah, it Dubs out. coming out yeah, all so over the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, more more yeah, feathers. You, you yeah. go to the jets and a dub comes out. <laughs> Everybody jumps. Yeah. Yeah. To you or away from you? Uh, what happens? What? When uh, a bird away, away from you when yeah, yeah. the dub comes out. Right, yeah, yeah, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> do you, to be honest, be what? honest, do you like working with kids, really? Yes, I, I like working... Yeah, I do. Uh, um... There's, there's this old adage about, uh, you know, never work with kids or animals. Yeah. Well, I love working with them because they're so ingenuous and I'm a bit of a kid myself in a funny way. Yes, I, I, yeah, I get yeah. it. What well, uh, about uh, animals, though? You're not animals, a bit of an animal, yeah, are I, you? No, I'm not mad about... I'm not mad about horses and camels because I'm not a very good rider. And, <laughs> and camels, camels, throw, when they throw you off, they don't throw you off, they suddenly lie down and try to roll on your leg. <laughs> Those bastards! Bastards! Yeah. yeah! And I did, and then they won't go. They won't go where you, 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 you want them to go. I'm, I know there's a scene in The Man Who Would Be King where Sean Connery and I, and a, there's a long shot, of a camel thing, and, we, and we're in the desert, and they say, and then we went to Khartoum or somewhere, and uh, so and so, we left, we left <laughs> the, 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 the trail and went off on our own. But we couldn't get the camels to leave the trail. <laughs> We kept getting the, uh, John Hooson, the director, he said, well, now you move, turn left. And we're turning left and the cameras went straight on. <laughs> so they cut to a long shot and Sean Connery and I, uh, leaving the trail, are actually two Arab camel people. Oh, really? Yeah, so... who could get them to do what they, they like. Well, they, they and they're you... also spitting your face. <laughs> they will, they spit, they spit at you. But there is a camel, a Somali camel, which is the most gentle of all camels. They're very, very soft. That's true story. <laughs> he, he's giving me a funny... <laughs> the most gentle of all camels. It's the Somali. <laughs> all right, the Somali And they had, they had blue eyes and very long eyelashes. It's Girl, quite sad. adorable. <laughs> yeah. And all the male camels look gay. Do they really? <laughs> well, they've got long eyelashes. They look like they've got mascara on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where, where did you run across a Somali camel then? I was doing a movie in Kenya. Right. And they brought some across the, the border, because Somalia's next to Kenya. Right. Uh, you I don't want to that. use a Kenyan camel. No, the right. Kenya camels, they roll over on you. Oh, well, I see, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back to them. And I didn't want them to jump <laughs> <laughs> But you know, if I'm watching the film, I go, wait a minute, that's a Somali camel they got there. If you, if you see the blue eyes and the eyelashes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and uh, I, I had one sequence where we forgot and, and, and this Arab is teaching me to ride a camel. And I said, well, what's... We're sitting on the camels going along. And I said, well, what's the, what's the one for making the camel stop and sit down? And he said, urguf. 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 And, and, of course, the camel stopped and sat down with me on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was down there. I said, what's, it, what's the Arabic for get up? <laughs> what, he, what is it? Zid. Zid. And then he went, Zid. And then the camel comes up again. But that's all I know or want to know about Campbell. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you for sharing it with us, Michael. It's sure always a pleasure. <laughs> the great Michael Caine, everybody, right here.
<laughs> there are two movie stars in the world. Sean Connery and Michael Caine. My next guest is a, one of them. His new memoir, <laughs> The Elephant to Hollywood, uh, is in stores now. Please welcome the legend that is Sir Michael Caine, everybody. Sir Michael Caine. How about that, hey? That's lovely, that is. You've got the book on it, it's in the hardcover. Do you know what I like, though? The, what? Not so much the front cover, which is great. Yes. But the back cover. <laughs> that was before it was gay to do that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That was being cheerful. Yeah. <laughs> it does, that's they funny, They turned it into gay later. <laughs> but that does look like now, nowadays, if yeah. you look at that, you'd think, oh, that... You'd that... said guys are gay, but you, you, we didn't bother in those days. When I posed for that, I didn't know what gay was. It's true. <laughs> All right. I like your beard. Do you? Thank yeah, you. I do. Yeah, it's very nice. Love the beard. Ooh la la splash. Yeah, yeah, right. Hey, it's because he hasn't got one. No, he hasn't. That's and not the not only thing. He's not going to get one either. No, not anytime soon. You know, his penis is still in customs. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> How were you getting over? Were you all right? Yeah, mine's still there as well. <laughs> <laughs> I only got here yesterday. <laughs> It'll my, probably... my voice goes up tomorrow. <laughs> now, this is from the elephant. Tell them what the elephant is then. From yeah, the it's called the Elephant to Hollywood. The elephant is a very, very tough district of London, in yeah, South nice. London, named after a pub called the Elephant and Castle. The pub was originally named, when it was built a couple of hundred years ago, it was named after King Charles II's Spanish mistress called the Infanta de Castile. And so they built this inn called the Infanta de Castile and the Cockneys couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> so they called it the Elephant and Castle. And that's it. It's, there's hardly any of it left now, the, the elephant, though, really? No, I, I shot, I shot, I went back, actually, and shot a movie called Harry Brown, like, Ex right exactly where I come from in these projects, which are terrible. But they were pulling them down, and they're all down now. They're all really? That's yeah, it. Where, I was, where I was, this crap place where I came from, like... <laughs> Stop glamorising it, you're becoming nostalgic. No, 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 right, no, no, right. no, no but, but, I mean, now is, is the highest penthouse in Europe. Really? Yeah, you would be amazed. There's I one am... and a half billion pounds being spent there. Really? Yeah. In the elephant? In the elephant. Okay, I haven't been in London in a long time. I'm surprised. I know, you sound like it. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in Scotland, yeah, haven't you? I've been you? in Scotland, every <laughs> now and again. How is how's Sean doing? How's Sir Sean doing? Have you seen him recently? No, I haven't seen him, but he was 80 about two weeks ago. I can hardly believe that. He can yeah, still he 80, beat me yeah, to a pulp yeah. with one hand. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But he's, he, he's 80 now. And, and, and I called him, and he, he was very ill, you know, really, was very, he? very, yeah, very ill. He lost 30 pounds, but I didn't know what was wrong, but he had an infection in his tooth. And he says to me, he said, have you got any bridge work, Michael? So Did he I say thought, it, would you like me to say it like, yeah, yeah, it, have you got any bridge work, uh, Michael? <laughs> Good, isn't it? That's not bad. So... I said, well, yeah, I've got some, Sean. He said, well, have someone look underneath it. Really? Yeah, he said, because stuff was there, and he, he nearly died, Sean. I've got some bridge work. Have you? Have a look underneath it. I can't. I can't right now, not until the commercials. <laughs> You're all right. I can yeah, tell. I'll yeah, be all right, yeah. yeah. It's all right. No, I'll be fine. I, uh, I, I always imagine, you don't live in London now, do you? I have, yeah, I have an apartment in London. I, I live in the country. I, I live out, outside, like, uh, uh, um, I live about 40 minute drive from London, but I have, I have an apartment in Chelsea Harbour. Oh, it's nice there. It's yeah. nice there, yeah. 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 But I, I, uh, I always imagine you living in some kind of tropical island for some reason. I don't know why. I imagine you kind of sitting around with, you know, you and just like, you know, just drinks and girls with bikinis and... <laughs> No, I've been married to the same woman for 40 years. Oh, no, I didn't think you were doing it. I just, they were just bringing you drinks. I know. No. No, but funny you should say that, because my wife is from a tropical island. She's from British Guiana. Is it still cold there? Eh? No, it's hot there. No, no. We... <laughs> oh, I 
said, is it still cold there? And because of my accent, you it's said, Scottish. is it cold I thought, there? I thought you said, is it yeah. cold there? We never understood the Scots here. No, no, it's, no, we didn't. We never understood them. But the uh, but the British Guiana is is it called British Guiana? Still? British. There's, there's three, isn't there? There's Dutch, French, and British Guiana. All oh, right. But she's actual fact. She was her parents emigrated. She's Kashmiri. Oh. Yeah, she's a Kashmiri. Yeah. That's that's rather nice. Yeah. She'd never yeah. given me a pullover though. Does she not? Do you have a house in some kind of tropical island then, do you? Or I, have, do... I have an apartment in South Beach, in Florida. Well, that's, well, that's fairly... Uh... It is a tropical island, that's, yeah. It's what, good. South Beach? South Beach, yeah. It's kind of North Cuba. Yeah, yeah, North Cuba, yeah. It's a bit like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. I, li I like South Beach. Have you ever been to Cuba? No. Are you saying that for legal uh, reasons, I... or you've never actually been? <laughs> for, for several reasons. Right. I, I, I remember once I was I was in Florida and I had this I had a restaurant in South Beach right. a long a long time ago. Really? Yeah. Well, did you cook in it? No. All right. No. I, you just owned I it. I was the owner. All right. I, no, I owned it. I owned this restaurant in South Beach, and uh, um, I, I had a friend, a Cuban friend, and I said to him, I said, I'm thinking of going to uh, Cuba. Right. And, uh, and he said, Don't. I said, Why not? He said, They will burn your restaurant down if you go to Cuba. Really? Yeah. So, Cole, because you were, you know, be, yeah. being friendly to Castro. Yeah, and yeah stuff? being yeah. friendly to Castro. But I don't think it counts anymore. No, I think. No, I, I think it's all going to be all right. I think when Castro pops it, it'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you hope he pops it, or you hope it'll be all right? Both. Bit of both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see where you're going yeah, yeah. with that. Yeah. Well, you know how you do. Yes, yes, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, uh, you making a film then? You doing anything right Yeah, now? that's why I'm growing a beard. I don't like beards, but I'm making a film called Mysterious Island. You know the Jules Verne story? Yes. Yeah. Mysterious Island. The one about the Mysterious Island? Yeah. Yes! Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's, it, it's great for me because I, I've just become a real... Two years ago, I became a real grandfather in real life. Congratulations. And I'm lovely. playing a grandfather in this. Right. And that's one first for me. And the other first is it's a, it's a film in 3D. Really? I've never made a film Yo, You have to be careful. The stuff could fly towards you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Have you but you seen look it? like you've got a big nose, No, don't no, you? Yeah. no, no, it's all right. No. Um, you know, you'll be fine. No, well, I, I, yeah, I've, I've never seen a 3D movie, so I, I'm going to wait till this comes out and I'll go and see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just the same acting, isn't it? You don't have to do a special, oh, like that. I, th I think you do do a lot of that, You have actually. to do a bit of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you're a it's natural. Scottish, Scottish. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah. Now, where are you shooting Mysterious Island, then? In, in Hawaii. Oh, lovely. I yeah. like it down there. Yeah, yeah I, I don't really know it. I'm, I'm shooting on an island called Oahu. Oh, that's the, that's the main... Well, that's, that's where Honolulu the main is. Big yeah. yeah, it's yeah. where Honolulu and Waikiki Beach and all that. So it, it sounds good, doesn't it? Waikiki? Waikiki. <laughs> How do you pronounce it, then? I think that's it. Waikiki, Waikiki. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any Waikiki. advance on Waikiki? Waikiki. I mean, yeah. Waikiki. Waikiki. Oh, pardon me. Oh, you're yeah. such a... <laughs> He's so smug. Yeah, yeah. Sitting there in the dark. No, I think it'd be nice, you know, and it's, it's uh, winter in England, so it's, it's lovely. That's why you took the film, isn't it? No. <laughs> That's what... No, I, I took the film because I have grandchildren now. Right. And I get to ride around on a giant bumblebee. Oh, really? Yeah. And I thought with my grandson, when he's, he, he's only two, so he can't go and see it now, but eventually he's going to go, it's, my grandchildren are going to see their, their grandfather riding around on a giant bumblebee. <laughs> that and is, he's going to say to the kids at school, could your grandfather do Yeah, you? no, that's good. <laughs> we have to take a break, do you mind? No, we'll All right, take we'll, a break. we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Michael Caine, everybody. Michael Caine. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here with Michael Caine, or he's here with me, actually. I'm here with him, yeah. aren't I, really? Yeah. Because um, you're always here. I'm not. That's true. I'm here yeah. every night. You're off so to... I must be here with you. All right, that's enough. This All right. <laughs> the, uh, do you play the mouth organ, by the way? No. Do you want to start? No. <laughs> you, you might want to give it a go. No, I don't want to get poison bridge work. You won't get poison bridge work. It's a, <laughs> it's a perfectly clean... Is it? No. I, it's I, never I been blown. Make... No. 
<laughs> You're back to Charlie Sheen. Yeah, I'm back again. to Charlie Sheen. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Out oh, there. He's, yeah. a, he's a bit of a rascal. But I mean, do you think uh, people are, uh, are, are actors are badly behaved or worse now than they were then, or they just get caught more? Now? No, they get caught more. Well, that's what I think. Yeah, because too, yeah. back then we didn't have the paparazzi. You didn't have all these magazines. You didn't have TV shows, Entertainment Tonight. You could do what you like. Yeah. And then the paparazzi came along and spoiled it all. <laughs> So are you saying to me it's conceivable that at a certain point in your life you may have been in a hotel room with a hooker locked in a closet yourself? Uh, no. or, or something similar? No, something... no, it's something similar, but yeah, no. yeah. Not locked in the closet. Not locked in the closet. No, no point putting them in the closet. Well, it wouldn't have been a hooker that? either, yeah. yeah. No, no I, I, hookers, no, no. no. I, I've never been with hookers. I was always so conceited I couldn't pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Actors are very good. She should be paying me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, it might not be conceited, it might just be frugal. You know, you, you come from no, a but you're Scot But you're Scots, you're no. frugal. I'm frugal. <laughs> I am frugal. I'm Cockney. We're yeah. generous people. Cockneys. Because Cockneys we... people are generous too. No, but Cockneys are generous because they haven't got anything. Right. <laughs> so you, it's nothing to give away. So well, that's right. why Scottish people don't go with prostitutes because they're frugal. It's like, they're frugal. oh, I would like to have sex, but I'm but not I'm paying for it. No. For the no. no. I'll no. just stay home and take care of myself. Exactly. <laughs> That's really frugal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bleak picture, isn't is it? Is it a bleak picture? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Hawaii, are you going to do any surfing or anything like that? Are you outdoorsy no, at all? No, no, I'm not outdoorsy. I, 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 I joined the... I not, didn't join the army. I was dragged screaming into the army. And, and, I, <laughs> and I, I was in it two years. We used to have national service in England. And I never did so much exercise in my life. There's you a lot know. of exercise and I was in the army. Through, I was walking miles and running out mountains with... 86 pound packs on my back and all, I was in the infantry. All right. And, and, and I thought, if I ever get out of this alive, I'm never going to do another bit of exercise as long as... <laughs> and I got out just alive and I've never done any exercise since. You really don't do any exercise? Well, no, I walk four or five miles a day, but that's, well, that's... you know, I was an infantryman, so it's easy. Right, all right. Yeah. I, just with no, no backpack on or anything or just walking? Yes. No, no, I don't carry a pack, no. Right. I have people to do that for me. <laughs> I have a man with an 86 pound pack behind me. Behind me, me yeah. yeah. Well, you're Michael Caine, you don't I'm need Michael that. I don't yeah, you don't do need that. that. No. Yeah, no, you're no, quite you don't right. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do down in Hawaii then, apart from shooting this, 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 uh, this giant bumblebee? What are you going to do apart from that? I don't know. Why are you on a bumblebee in the film anyway? What happens? Like, well, because it, it's, it's, it's one of those it? things. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's our friends and the bumblebees come and help us when the dinosaur comes. <laughs> Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? They would, they if would. If the dinosaurs true. come, the bu bu bumblebees come and help you. Who, who will help us now that the dinosaurs are here? Yeah. Thank God the bumblebees yeah, made The bumblebees come, yeah. So, so it'll be fun, you know. Oh, yeah, it sounds like a real yeah. nail-biter, this one. And then, <laughs> and then after that, I think probably do Batman. Oh, another Batman, that's good, yeah. <laughs> Hooray! Christian Bale again. Yeah. I like Christian Bale. I like Christian Bale. I think Christian Bale is great. Do you remember when that, they had that thing where they, uh, they released the tapes of him being all angry on a film set? Yeah. And he got in trouble and I went mad. I was like, you pay this guy to be unstable and crazy, right? Yeah. And then when he's unstable and crazy, you go, oh, that's disgraceful. I mean, yeah. you pay him to be unstable yeah. and crazy. But I, I wasn't surprised at that at all because I, I used to have a very bad temper. I don't now, right. but I used to. And I mean, what Christian did was quite pale to what I would do sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he did about 10 minutes. I want, once did 45 minutes. Really? Yeah, but there was no one recording it. <laughs> well, I think they started and ran out of tape. <laughs> I think what happens, though, if you ask an actor to be all kind of, you know, keyed up and tense and you, they've been waiting around all day to be a certain way yeah. and then you kind of, you know... You know what worried me about that? What? That was a big special effects picture, right? Right. It takes ages for it to come out. Right. They recorded this during shooting and right. the record never came on the television and the radio till the week it was being released. Yeah. Isn't that suspicious? It is. It's they almost it, as if you know? it's almost as if the studio were in some way. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
And you know what they're like? Yeah, oh, I do. Yeah. They're slimy Christian is bastards, a lovely yeah. boy. I, 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 he is nice, Christian. Yeah, I've never yeah. met him, but I've decided he's nice. I, I, I've dis I, know, I know him very well. Take my word for it. No, yeah, no, I'm, I, the, I'm his butler. I look after him. I brought the boy up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Were you... Uh... Wait, wait. He didn't really... He's just Michael no. Caine. He's filled you with his acting. Yeah. Again. Look. <laughs> Would you ever hang it up? Would you ever stop acting and direct or something like that? No. No, you're not interested? No, your directors have to turn up every day and... <laughs> you know what actors are like? You, you give them a script and they say... First thing you say, is the part big? And they look, oh yeah, it's lovely and big. And then the next thing you look, so how many days have I got off? Yeah. That's the way we look at it, yeah. Is yeah. that how you look at it then? Yeah, how, exactly, how, yeah. How many days off? Oh, blimey, yeah. How many bumblebees do I have to ride yeah, in this yeah. picture? Yeah, yeah, and I, I ride a bumblebee for two days, but I do get a day off. Well, in your days off, what I'm saying is your days off in Hawaii, then what will you do? You won't do anything, you're just going to lie I'll on the beach? I'll go around and walk on the beach with my wife. And I the bloke behind you carrying the backpack? You see this cover? Right, I right. want to talk to you about that cover. All right. You see that cover? This was taken by... I went to pose for the cover. But this is really rather like life I was thinking the other day. I went to pose for the cover. Right. And for two hours, Terry O'Neill, my friend and I, we, and I'm posing, he's got all the lights, you know, he's going, look, the bird, the, 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 the. And then in the end, I said to him, no more photos. And he took the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the picture. That's nice, that. It's a lovely picture. But life's like that. that you try to do something, it doesn't work, and then suddenly, out of the blue, Bang, it that, happens. That's what, that's what this show is, Bob. Yeah. yeah. I know, I've seen I'm it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I like these photographs, some great, great photographs, photographs of you. Oh, yeah. look at that, the man who would be king. Look at that. Yeah. You and Sean. Me and Sean, yeah. yeah. Great, man. That's a great movie, that, that man Oh, well, Amanda King. would be king, yeah. I loved Amanda would be king. That's a great yeah. film, man. Yeah. yeah. We're out of time now, no. I'm just looking at the book now. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're done. You're done. It's all right. You hey? relax now, yeah. Are we finished? Oh, yeah. Is this a commercial? No, the commercials haven't started. We're just... Yeah, we'll start in a minute. Yeah, don't go in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Well, is there anything you need? Is there something you want? No, no. no. I can get you a shamwow or a... A what? <laughs> a sh oh, shamwow. A sh a sh shammy. Shammy, yeah. Well, shammy they, leather. No, they call them a shamwow now. A shamwow? Yeah, for the digital de generation. It's a type of camel, isn't it? A shamwow? <laughs> yeah, it's a transvestite camel, a shamwow, yeah. Two bumps. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> so, Michael Caine, everybody. That's my favourite one. <laughs> now, let's see if you'd have come up to me in 1985 and said, hey, I'd be like, ah! Oh, oh! <laughs> but you'd have said, hey, Greg, you know, what's going to happen to you is, in a while, you're going to get your own talk show in America and you'll be able to sit for 20 minutes and shoot I get up, Michael Caine. <laughs> I'd have said you were insane. <laughs> but I just... Shot Ooh, la, la. to Michael Caine for 20 minutes. <laughs> I know.